Hey guys, it's Christina here with Running With Curls and today I'm gonna to be showing you my brush curl styling. This is my wet styling brush. I've talked about it a lot on my Instagram. This is my go-to, I absolutely love it. It's super affordable, it's only $12 for a two pack on Amazon. But the bristles are super flexible. It has this bar in the back that actually can pop off so they can be even more flexible, which is what I do when I use it in the shower. And basically I use this to distribute conditioner. If I use any treatments, like a deep conditioner or protein treatment, I use this. And then I also use this when I'm styling to distribute my product. And today I'm gonna to show you how to curl train using the brush like this. So we're actually gonna be working with the handle of the brush as well. So wash day, it's actually picture day at school. So that's exciting. Um, already washed my hair. So still nice and wet. And what I use today, I use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk um, cleansing oil, as well as their deep conditioning mask. So I did do a tr um, conditioning treatment on my hair this morning. Only left it on for like 10 minutes, which is the minimum time. But I just wanted to add some moisture back to my hair since it has been pretty dry um, over here in Georgia in terms of humidity. So what I'm going to do to style, I'm going to start with my leave-in. This is kind of my go-to leave-in right now. It's the Evolve H and it's the Smart Curl leave-in. I really like this. It has lots of moisturizing oils, but it also has a little bit of protein. So it's a pretty good balanced product. Um, my hair, during the summer months, really, really craves protein. And then during the winter, I still need protein, but I need a little more moisturizing. So I'm just gonna spray that throughout. Then I'm going to use same brand, the Evolve H Curl Cream. So again, it's the Super Curl, and this is their original cream, which I really like. I actually, when I apply this, I use it along with the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. I'm actually going to layer gels today. So I'm going to do two different gels. So I'm going to start with the Bounce Curl Gel. I'm gonna use about this much, so maybe like a quarter sized amount. And then I'm gonna use two pumps of the Curl Cream and just mix it together in my hands. Now, I did another post earlier where I showed you how to know if you have a good mix. This mix as well, there's no clumps. It turns into a very nice mixture. If you get clumps where it looks almost like scrambled eggs, one, nobody wants to put that in their hair, but also it's going to cause the products to fight as opposed to work together, which is not going to help your curls. So when you are trying new products, you wanna make sure to test just a little bit of the product in your hands first, and that's how you can tell if it's going to be a good mix or if they're not gonna get along very well. So same thing, I'm going to add this on the other side. And with these, I'm literally just kind of breaking it through my curls. And then before I do the brush styling, I'm actually going to brush through and make sure that all of the products are well distributed. So I'm gonna do one more little bit and I'm going to add this to the back and the underside which is where my curls tend to be difficult um, in terms of not always styling quite as well as I would want them to. So I have my first gel and my curl cream and I'm just going to use the wet brush real quick and just brush through. This is literally the best way to distribute product. And one of the things that I really like about this brush, it doesn't pull the product out. So you can see there's not product clumps in this. So I've had brushes before where you brush through and it's like you pull everything out. And so that's not very great, not very helpful. So this is the other gel I'm going to layer. It's the Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. And so this one I'm gonna use a pretty good sized amount. Just rub it between my hands and 
scrunch it. I'm gonna flip my hair over just to make sure I get it everywhere. You can hear that squish, which tells me that my curls are hydrated, which is what I want. And now I'm ready to brush style. So I could go like this, like my curls are healthy. They're gonna do what they need to do, but I really want them to be super defined today. So with my brush styling, first thing, you brush through all of your hair. Then I'm going to section it off. So I'm going to do the left side and the right side. And I'm gonna grab just a hair tie and I'm going to section it. So I have the bottom section and the top. And all you do, it is a super easy technique. You're gonna take your brush, you're gonna flip it kind of contrary to how you would normally hold it because you're going to start on the bristles and then twist your hair around the handle. Another great thing is you can do larger clumps. So I'll start with this little clump right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it through the handle or through the bristles. I'm gonna turn it until all of the hair goes through the bristles and is wrapped around the handle. And then I'm just going to pull the handle out and it leaves this perfect spiral. So for a larger section, run it through the bristles, twist it up so that all of the hair curls around the handle. Sometimes you have to help it out a little bit. So I'm just holding the end to make sure it all goes through. And then there we go. So one of the things that I really like about brush curl training is that it's fast. I can do all of my hair in less than 10 minutes, which is huge because if you've done any of the other curl training methods, you know it can take forever to curl train. But I can literally take these large sections of my hair, run them through the brush, twist them up, and then just pull the brush out. So the back of my hair is shorter. You can see that this length is not super long. So what I wanna show you is how to do that. So basically I do the exact same motion. I'm just holding the end of my hair while I twist just to make sure it doesn't um, fall off. So that way I can make sure that the entire clump gets the curl training. And then I still get that perfect ringlet. And again, in the back. It is a little bit harder with the shorter sections, but still totally doable. Like you can see, I can still wrap my curl and of course, as I'm showing you, this falls. So I've already done now the entire bottom section. Super fast, okay? It's not a long process at all, which is great. And so now what I do, once I've done the bottom section, I just take down this top right here. And this just helps to separate the clumps when you're curl training them. So the top section goes a little faster because the hair is longer, so it wraps easier. 
and you can see I'm taking pretty big sections when I'm doing this. You don't have to do individual curl clumps like a lot of curl training methods because when you're done, I'm going to show you how to separate them out and add back the volume. Okay, so you saw literally less than five minutes to curl train this entire left side of my head. That is kind of unheard of in terms of curl training. If I was doing finger curls or pin curls, I'd still be on like the first front section. So I do really like this method, um, especially for my weekday washes. Like today is a Thursday when I'm filming this and normally I would not have time to do curl training, but with the brush curl method, I can curl train all of my curls and still get out the door by 7.15 to get to work on time, which is awesome. So I'm going to very quickly do the exact same thing on the right side of my hair and then I'll show you guys the look before I diffuse. But you can see my entire head has these beautiful little spirals. So I'm gonna curl train this section. It'll take about five more minutes. Okay, so my entire head is curl trained. You can see I have these nice little ringlets kind of throughout, even in the back and on this side as well. And if you are someone who air dries, you are done, you are ready to air dry. I do not air dry. I can't stand the feeling of wet hair. Plus, I have picture day this morning, so I'm going to diffuse. When I diffuse with this, I don't want to break up the curls yet, so I'm going to pixie diffuse, which is where I hold the dryer, I turn it on, I'm going to keep it in this position for 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. Then I turn it off. I move it to the next place and I turn it on. So this does take a little bit longer, but it's gonna really help keep these curls that I worked to get in place. Normally it takes my hair 10, 15 minutes to blow dry because it has been drying as I've been styling. So I'm going to finish drying and then show you guys the finished product. So I finished curl training my entire head, literally took less than 10 minutes, which is amazing. You can see I have these perfect little spirals all throughout my hair. I am going to diffuse. You can absolutely curl dry, air dry from here. I prefer to diffuse. And with this type of curl training, I'm going to pixie diffuse, which means I'm going to take the dryer, I'm gonna hold it in place, turn it on and then I'm going to let it sit for 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. I'm gonna need to fix this guy, he's looking kind of wonky. But once it's sat, I turn it off, then I move it to the next spot and turn it on. As I am diffusing with the brush curls, one of the things that I do is I wanna make sure I get some root lift. So I'm actually literally just going to lift it with my hands and kind of hold it because the brush curls can cause your curls to kind of lay flat. So one thing you can do is to actually physically like lift up the curls. You can also just flip to the other side. And so that'll help you lift your curls off the roots so they won't dry flat to your head. So just kind of keep shifting, lift, and dry. And so for me, I'm lifting that top layer because I have lots of layers. So I'm lifting it in layers and that's gonna add some volume in between the layers and help 
my curls to have volume when they're dry. So it takes me about 15, 20 minutes to dry. I'm going to diffuse and then show you guys the final results. So my curls are dry and I have these amazing little ringlets, but I've also got this like little orphan Annie vibe going on. It's not really what we're going for. So what I am going to do, I'm going to take the ringlets and I'm simply going to gently separate out the individual curl clumps. And as I do this, you can see the volume just building. So I just take my curl clumps, you can shake your fingers through them if you want looser curls or if you have waves and that's easier but you can see literally just separating them out the curl individual curl clumps separate super easy just gonna run my fingers through to separate them up because yes it's picture day but not like you know not going for the <laughs> the Orphan Annie look. And there we go. Look at these amazing <laughs> ringlets. So, super excited. Final thoughts about brush curl training. One, I honestly, I've seen all these um, ads for specific brushes that are supposed to help with brush curl training used a $12 Amazon brush and I got these results. So if you are a diehard, yes, you need to use this brush fan, drop a comment, tell me why. Because honestly, I'm thinking you can do this with any brush that has a good rounded handle. Because that's what I used. Um, second, super fast. Oh my goodness. Less than 10 minutes and amazingness. Third, it is super consistent. So I really like that. A lot of curl training methods I've used give me like super ringlets here and then the back is flat. If you look, I have these ringlets all the way in the back as well. So it's not just in one area. So super quick, super consistent, amazing results. I am really happy with this. I'm excited about picture day. Never thought I'd say that as an adult. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just, I can't stop touching it. I can't stop playing with them. They look so good. So let me know what you think. Thanks so much for um, tuning in, for watching my curl training video. Please, please, please like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of my videos. And let me know what you think. Try it out test it on your curls, and let me know how it goes. Bye, guys.